Hi everyone, the Season 5 update just landed on the global server, and it's one of the biggest updates for the game. There are tons of new features, balance adjustments, a new hero, new skins, map adjustments, and much more. I'll explain everything about this major update in this video, so make sure to watch until the end. New marksman hero, Garo, is now available in the game. You can purchase her with 99 tokens. After two days, she will be available to purchase normally with gold. They've upgraded the player level system to the career system, which is a much fuller representation of player experience. All the important gameplay milestones you reach will be recorded in your career. You'll get EXP for them too. There's also a level symbol. When you level up, you'll get a star. The symbol's appearance is upgraded as you earn stars. Honor of Kings has introduced a new groups feature, allowing players to create their own customizable social groups. You can create a group, set a unique badge, code name and tags, and invite up to 60 friends to join. Players can customize their group's look to attract like-minded players. Group members get special perks like weekly trial skins and code name animations when partying together. You'll also have dedicated group chat channels to socialize and team up. Groups provide an engaging way to connect with friends and build a community within the game. While currently limited, more exciting group content and features are planned for future updates, enhancing the overall social experience. Results page background UI is revamped in this update. You can get tons of information from this new UI. Now you can see more information about the progress you've made on missions and in other areas after the match. Two. Tier results page is improved. It now shows real-time tier and hero power ranking status. You can also see which heroes and skins you use during the match. They also improve the appearance of the team room and results screen. Only knives and gold never lie. Now let's check out the hero adjustments. First hero on the list is Da Chiao. Developers wanted to improve her solo ability while maintaining her original role so they changed her skill mechanics. Her passive has a new ability. If her first and second skill cross each other, then it will trigger an explosion. The explosion deals magical damage to nearby enemies and slows them by 50% for one seconds. Da Chao now gains extra movement speed by using her first skill. Movement speed depends on her skill level. It deals magic damage and knocks enemy up for 0.5 seconds. Skill level limit increased to 6. They changed her second skill mechanics. It now starts off unlocked from the start and cannot be upgraded. The skill now enter cooldown when players teleport, instead of when Da Chiao casts the skill. If no heroes teleport, then the cooldown time is reduced by 50%. Third skill summons a fish that leaps in the target direction. It deals continuous magic damage in its path and knock up enemies for 0.5 seconds. Skill level limit is increased to 6. Her ultimate is nerfed. Skill range is lowered to 600 and area of effect reduced by 50. I think this changes on her skill will make mid lane Da Chiao more popular. Haino received some adjustments on his second skill. Using second skill in ranged form will now increase his movement speed by 25%. Depending on the enemy number, movement speed can reach up to 50%. Switching from melee to ranged form will double the bonus. Using second skill on melee form will now increase Haino's health recovery by 25%. Depending on the total enemy, health recovery can reach up to 50% maximum. Switching from range to melee form with skill 2 will double the bonus. Developers saying Dolia is underperforming in the current meta, so they're giving her a buff. Health recovery while in water increased by 20. Second skill cooldown reduction in water is increased by 5%. Added a new effect on her ultimate skill. When a teammate defeat a hero with the help of her refreshed ultimate within 5 seconds, then Dolia splits the gold earned with the teammate. Liu Shan received a buff in this update. His first skill movement speed is increased by 25%, it will further increase with skill level. This movement buff decays over 3 seconds. Guan Yu received a buff on his passive. Energy decay speed is lowered, 
Now his passive will decay slightly slower. Diao Chan is nerfed in this update. Her base health scaling is lowered. Now her skill have less health each time leveling up. Pei is dominating in the current meta, so he receives some nerfs in this patch. Physical attack in tiger form is reduced. Per level scaling is lowered. Physical and magic defense scaling is lowered. Second skill attack speed bonus in human form is reduced. Attack speed scaling is lowered. Second skill damage in tiger form is lowered. Phase 1 and Phase 2 damage is reduced. Li Bai received some nerfs in this update. Passive physical attack bonus is reduced by 20. First skill cooldown time is increased by 1 seconds. They also increase per level scaling so it won't impact at higher skill level. Previous buff on Wu Yan is not that effective so they're giving her more buff in this patch. Her base health is increased, they added cooldown scaling on her first skill. It will lower the cooldown at max level. Ultimate skill bonus shield value is increased. Developers wanted tanks to soak up damage in the early game without becoming hard to counter in the late game. So they're increasing base health of some tanks while decreasing their health gain per level. The following tanks received those adjustments. One more strike. Dare challenge me. Then you're oh. gonna get one. Yeah. <laughs> now let's talk about battlefield adjustments. To make the jungle more fun, they have added new brush. It's located besides the Azure Golem. Teleportation portal cooldown time is reduced to 90 seconds. Now you can teleport up to 5 times in total. Healing dew is adjusted. Health recovery is slightly lowered for damage dealers but increased for high HP based heroes. They added brief strategy tips that are shown to players when they die or recall. This makes it easier for players to learn more about the heroes. It's gonna rain! I better head back. People are gonna catch sight of my tail if I'm not careful. Clash lane minion basic attack is adjusted. Tower damage reset rule is adjusted. Tower damage is reset when switching targets, or the target leaves the tower's range. Now you have to leave the tower range to reset the damage. It's an indirect nerf to Diao Chan's tower diving capability. Spike Tail Beast's basic attack is increased. Last hit basic attack indicator is added. There will be a minion last hit tip during the first 10 minutes of the match to help players improve their last hit efficiency. There is a smite hit indicator tip for large and epic monsters to help junglers securing objectives. On the match history screen, you can now see what events are currently in effect. You can also see a timetable of upcoming events, such as ancient creature respawns. The lighting, brush, and ambient sounds will all change as the match progresses. It will be effective at graphics quality 4 and above. I've lost my face. I really have. Has been slain. Some deities dwell in heaven, but others in mushrooms. They improved the stickers usability in the new version. Now you can drag the chat button to quickly send stickers. Home guard movement speed boost is adjusted.
There's some item adjustments added in this update. They changed the base stats of Overlord's plate mail. Max health is reduced to 1500, while adding 100 physical and 50 magical defense. New passive increases health amount by extra 10%. Another passive recovery is changed. Now it heals 0.5% max health per second. This effect doubles when you're out of combat. Price of Overlords, plate mail is now 2070 gold. They reworked Flaming Wrath and renamed it as Draconic Sword and Shield. It has 1200 health, 120 physical and 60 magical defense as base stats. New passive devastating blow is added. Every basic attack has a 15% base chance of dealing HP-based high physical damage to minions and monsters. Chance increases over time, up to a max of 60% after 3 seconds. Increase disappears after a basic attack. Another passive Divine Power also adds extra damage based on physical attack and max HP. They improved the PvP experience for Honor Medals to make it better for players from around the world. There is now a feature called War Zone Divisions. The four major war zones will be the Americas, Europe, Asia, and the Middle East. Power will be decided, and Honor Medals awarded based on your war zone. Lady Jen's new epic skin, The North Mountain, will be available on April 12th. They have improved the skin effects of Dawn Guardian Kaiser. Pranks can be tolerated, but evil must be destroyed. City once again. Yeah. Yeah. Blade of Light, protect this city once again. Yeah. There will be lots of new game modes and events coming later this month. Check the description below if you want to read the full patch notes. And that covers all the major content in this Season 5 update. Let me know which part you like the most in the comment section below. And that's it for today's video. Leave a like if you found this video helpful and subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, thank you for watching.